What's going on people, Mike C-Town here with another Dead and Hip Hop solo album review and today I'm talking about the newest album from Dark Time Sunshine entitled Lore. So yeah, this album came out over a month ago um, and typically I wouldn't cover something that's that old, you know, when I miss the release date of an album by this kind of margin, I'll usually add it to a part of my playlist videos um, where I give kind of short reviews of four different albums. But uh, when I sat down and I started making the notes on points that I wanted to touch for this album, I, it, there was just already too much to talk about. So it only made sense for me to make it its own video. And I know that YouTube doesn't typically promote videos that are covering albums that are this late, but fuck it, who cares? It's my channel, I'll do what I want. And even if I only got like 30 views off this shit, if that's 25 people that didn't know about this album before, then I'd say that that's a win. But um, getting into it, Dark Time Sunshine is MC Henri Osborne and producer Zavala. Lore is their fifth album, and this one comes almost 10 years after their last album, which was A&X, which is probably my favorite of their albums. But um, this was exciting, man, because I think Henri and Zavala are a dope matchup, so I was really happy to see them back together. But the album starts off with the title track, Lore, and it's great. Uh, what I've always really liked about Zavala's beats is what he does with his drums. They always sound really clean, but the breakbeat pattern that he gives them is really, really nice. And uh, the song is just one verse from Henri, and then a sort of hook and verse from Chesky, um, which fits the song perfectly, and then it just ends. It's like a, a short one, but it really, really hits. I do sort of wish it was a little bit longer because I feel like they were both in their bag for a hot minute, but that's all right. Uh, after that, it moves into Ritalin, which is now one of my favorite songs on the album. It's got a great beat, again, really nice drums, but it also has some really nice synth work that almost sounds like church organs at times. It's, it's really a beautiful beat and Henri kills it as always. And I've said before, Henri Osborne has one of the best flows in hip hop and he really shows it on this song but it seems to be talking about how music has helped him maintain you know like music is his version of Ritalin and it does for him what Ritalin might do for others and he really snapped on that first verse how many times do I have to set myself straight groundhog on a greyhound replay highlights of a low life's decay doomsday is the broom's way to sweep dustpan is the company we keep don't sow, so there's nothing for me to reap. I'm mob deep, both sides of my brain are Twin Peaks. Another immediate standout song is Right Kids. Uh, honestly, as a kid who was picked on in school for being weird, uh, I think this song is extremely important and extremely empowering. Um, it's basically about nurturing kids who may be different so that their focus can be directed in the right place instead of allowing them to feel alone. They the ones who open their presents, play with the boxes instead of the actual gifts. And then he says, take place in that individual continental drifter, in that period where they are picked on. If nurtured instead, then they will become instrumental to human evolution for like eons. That shit is so beautiful, it literally almost brought a tear to my eye the first time I read the lyrics, but uh, this hook is also gorgeous. The wrong kids have always been the right kids, the bright kids from afar. Amazing. But Rap Ferreira's verse that continues the theme is just great. My purpose has no atrophy. Actually, I write this for the chosen few who were told as children to speak when spoken to, and then were never spoken to, who learned the dialogue with reverie. And I love how he ends his verse with, as I leap through hoops blindly, I co-sign me. No matter what happens, he co-signs himself. He believes in himself. He has confidence in himself and his decisions. I love that. And homeboy Sandman comes in and closes this out beautifully. He says, stop drugging all the kids, B. They ain't trying to throw fits. They just trying to make history. And I really love this line as well. No shouts to the end, big shouts to the instead. He's saying like, let's take attention off of the popular kids or, or the kids who are seen as normal and maybe give some props to the kids who are outside of the box. Again, I love this idea. I love this song. It's just incredible. Of course, I got to mention Poor Pavel, which features Aesop Rock and uh, Rob Sonic as Hail Mary Malin. And 
You know, my ear isn't always to the street, so I do tend to miss shit, but last time I checked, it seemed that Hail Mary Malin was over due to some sort of disagreement between Aesop and Rob, but maybe that got cleared up? Um, I truly do hope so. Uh, not even for the sake of the music, really, but it's always nice to see genuine friends reunite with each other after some sort of disagreement. Um, but yeah, all three MCs kill this song. The three of them sound great together and this beat is super nice uh i especially like those bass licks that are in the background which go perfectly with what zaval is doing with the synths look at her go is a nice song it seems to be Henri giving props to a woman i assume his wife uh most times songs like this can can come off really corny a la chance the rapper but this one works really well mainly because the lyrics aren't hokey or too much on the nose uh, they're very poetic, but not overly coded, but it sounds like actual work was put into making these lyrics compelling. But that line where he said, it's almost as if your prog in human form was super fly. I'm going to use that shit. I'll just have to make sure I use it on someone that doesn't listen to hip hop. But uh, I love the creativity that he puts into the verses here, especially when he has that part where it's like, look at her go. It just sounds really dope to me. Familiars is another dope song with a great beat with another example of those ill drums that Zavala uses and Henri murders this song. Listen to this song and you'll kind of see why I keep saying that he has one of the best and unique flows in the game right now. I can't really see anyone doing the kind of weird stutter step thing that he does or the, the kind of like stop and go flow that he does. Like he sounds choppy but smooth at the same time. It's really hard to describe. Um, but it's dope. I want to mention Amen, which is another really dope song on this album. I really like the synth sounds that Zavala uses on the hook on this one. It sounds great. Uh, it seems to be about a reunion of sorts between two people who had a falling out. Uh, I get that mainly from the hook where he says, broken before but never again, these fish hooks are still facing each other. And he also says, so put your stethoscopes up in the air, Amen. Two fish hooks that are facing each other kind of form a heart and the stethoscope is a tool that's commonly thought of as as being used to check the heart so i thought that was really 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 cool the way he put that together and Henri gives us a lot of dope lines on this song you thought we'd paint ourselves in a corner and just sigh but the opposite has happened ice tea we multiply that's a really dope reference to the song colors where ice tea says the gangs of la will never die just multiply and I really like that hereditary bar where he says, unable to wrap your head around it like Charlie out of that car window. It's hereditary to be this nice sentimental. In hereditary, Charlie sticks her head out the window and is decapitated by a telephone pole. Wrap your head around it. Uh, I thought it was interesting that people usually refer to cars wrapping themselves around telephone poles, but here it's a head. So wrapping your head around it is sort of a dope double entendre. But overall, I think this album is great. Uh, I can't say there are any songs that I skip over. Each one has its place within the album and it just flows perfectly. Zavala's psychedelic and woozy production is just as good as it's ever been. And Andre is just as sharp as he's ever been. Uh, now, how does it stand up to their last album, Anx or ANX? Uh, I do prefer ANX more, but that is definitely not a statement of quality. Um, I simply like the aesthetic of ANX more. Uh, it was a bit weirder and a bit more left field, which is more up my alley. However, I think Lore is honestly just as good. It's just a bit different. You know, taking that time off seems to have brought these guys back together sounding totally refreshed. They sound like themselves, but themselves after a lot of time and life shit has passed and you know i think this album perfectly reflects what it sounds like when two people who are serious about their craft come together after time apart and decide to deliver an album that reflects the changes in their lives and um yeah i just think it came together beautifully is definitely one of the better hip-hop albums that i've heard this year so make sure you check it out and if you've already listened to it drop some comments down there in the comments section and let me know what you thought about it but yeah, that's going to do it. As usual, thank you for living, thank you for loving, thank you for being you, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Peace out, boy.